students often ask me, what's the difference between a global learner and an analytic learner? And so what I will usually say to them is there are different ways to understand it according to whose model you're using. For example, if you're looking at the done and done model of right brain versus left brain, you think of your global people as being very right brain. Uh, you think of your analytic as being more left brain. So if you understand right brain versus left brain or want to go out and look up some of the many various descriptions or charts that they have on the internet, that'll give you one idea. Another would be to use a theorist like Gregork and look at how he described it. He said that he described what he called a abstract random thinker. An abstract random thinker, his description is very much like what we call a global person. Whereas his concrete sequential people, people are very concrete, like to do things in a very exact sequence, that is exactly like a left brain learner. Of course with the Gregor model you get uh, more variations. So he gives you not only the abstract random, which is the extremely right brain or global person, and he gives you the concrete sequential, which is the very left brain or analytical person, but he gives you two others that are in between those two, a different mixture. He has one called the abstract sequential, and the abstract sequential is a person that Dunn and Dunn would describe as being whole brain, but with a right brain preference. So those are your planners. They, 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 like right brain people, they love abstract ideas and new ideas, but instead of just kind of being half-baked ideas, they like to take those abstract ideas and put them into a chart or into a timeline or into a flow chart. They like to sequence those new ideas. Okay, And then Gregork also talks about the concrete random people well, once again, that's a whole brain person, but with a left brain preference. And so what he calls the uh, concrete random people, I like to call those pack rats. They are people who gather. They're gatherers. And they're usually really good at gathering one or more of the seven resource variables that we talk about. They're good at gathering materials, or sometimes they're good at gathering people. Sometimes they're good at gathering funds. Sometimes they're good at organizing space and getting rooms to do things. Sometimes they're very good at gathering information. Uh, they might be very good at gathering programs uh, or time. They might be real good at time management. And, and so, so that's, if you use the Gregor model, you could say the extremely global, or what Dunn and Dunn would call the extremely right brain, are abstract random using Gregor's model. The analytic, using the cerebral preference, we might call those extremely left brain. Gregor would say they're concrete sequential. Then you have the two that are whole brain, using both sides, that are both analytic, have some qualities of analytic and some qualities of the globals. Those are the other two models that Gregor refers to as either abstract sequential. They deal with abstract information well, but they like to put it in sequence. Or the concrete random. They're good at gathering stuff. They may not put it in order, but they're good at gathering concrete stuff. So that, that would give you several models to be able to look at to start understanding the difference between what we call the global and the analytic. Does that help? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs>